I'm going to work on the eyes now, this Hendrix. And what I've done is just a bit of light denim for the outside and a darker fabric for the inside. They do tend to have that sort of ring around them. And I've bought this, these are eyes from a company, I will post it. They're acrylic, but they're concave on the back. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to fit them. But what I thought I'd do is I've got a button that fits very well inside there. And I'm going to stick, put the buttons on first and then hopefully that will pull that fabric in. Then the eyes will go on top. They still might be a bit too proud, that's the only thing. But that's what I'm going to have a go at. So the buttons are there just to pull the thread through and keep it nice and tight. So it gets that slight indent, which I like. You may not like that, but I do. And then hopefully those will go over top. These are actually eyes used for taxidermy. So that's the intention. I've got my long needle threaded and I'm going to have a go. It, it might take a couple of goes to get it right, actually, and especially when I'm not in front of it properly for the camera. Oh, that's annoying actually because that initial blue is the one that is hard on this needle so I might have to do it like that or choose another fabric. I think a sharp needle would go through quite easily, but it just depends on the fabric you've chosen. So the theory is that this will come right through. I don't like that in my eye. Oops. I don't know if that knot will go through. I'll try. those bits off. So I attach the other button to the thread. You can see doing it in real time does take its time, doesn't it? Um, oh yeah, that 
does work. see I'm going to tie that off there tie that off there make those it just needs to go around properly and then I'll get my glue gun out Wish me luck here. I'm going to attempt to fit the eye on top of the button using the glue gun. I might mess it up completely. So I filled up the concave or the reservoir quite a lot with glue and just pop it on there and see if it sticks. The only thing is, if you've got children, you know, you've got to be so careful with this sort of thing because they might play around, pull it off and swallow it. So that's at your own responsibility. Oh, I don't know, I think that might have done it. I'm not sure where the colour goes with the blue, but it's... Not sure what else to do anyway so but these ones I'll put the post on the Hendrix and Co because they um, say they're for a taxidermy taxidermist um, I think they're probably better than teddy bears eyes which I've used before once and um, better than bus buttons. I, I show my husband, he's my, usually he's the one that tells me whether they look good or not. He's very honest. Now I'm wondering whether instead of having that dark colour there I should have had a lighter one because it's got a dark edge to the eye anyway. I would guess though if I wanted to remove them I could just squeeze the head, get to the cord behind and cut that. Then they would ping off. The glue is easy to remove, I think, and then I could have another go. So it's all just an experiment. But I think the eyes are quite nice on uh, mate, but I'm not sure whether on this colour. Anyway, so that's the eyes done, we'll move on to the next stage. <laughs> 